Morning, morning, guys. Oh, just got up, slept well. Morning, Tilly. Good morning. That's what you want. As soon as you get out of van, take dog a wee. Camera, YouTube is in your face. Which <laughs> is like. Some of the crew's already up and breakfast is already on. We're just grabbing some breakfast, having a couple of coffees, and the sun looks like it's starting to peek out through the clouds. It looked like a bit of rain. It tried to spot, I think. The view from this old road is absolutely stunning. Check this out, guys. There's loads camping out all across this road. Some more down there. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna get some breakfast. I think we're doing some nice wraps. But I just wanna show you, just over this wall, the amount of rubbish and things that has left everywhere. It's disgusting, really. <laughs> Just look at this guys. There's even industrial weatherproof roofing. I don't know. Just look at this. Uh, there's no need for it is there guys. Right in the countryside. So once me and uh, the gang have had some breakfast, uh, myself and Luan from Urban Monkeys and all the Van, Van Life for Life crew Facebook page are going to try and do us best safely. Some of it's a bit grim, might have to come back another day with some other stuff, but we're going to try and clear it best we can <clears throat> this area just to leave. I know we shouldn't, we've spoke about this on the channel before, but this sort of thing is getting what we love doing, banned around the UK, and it's, we don't want that. So, if we pick this up, if we all pick a bit up, remember guys, if you're coming out in the wilderness, out in the countryside, and enjoying your van, or any, any, any activities out in the countryside, whatsoever, beach, remember, leave only footprints, and then we can't go wrong, and it'll just make it last, that last that little bit longer for everybody else. So, stand by, we'll show you some after pictures of this lot. When we cleared it up. Look at this, I'm borrowing. <laughs> you borrowed everything. Oh, I, just, I like this little cute egg pan. Look at it. <laughs> How cool is that? I just wanted to try it. So we're going to do some burrito wraps. Done. In somebody else's ribs, monkey. <laughs> The breakfast burritos are turning out really good. The one's just slightly fell apart, but it still looks nice. Oh, it is good. Good? Put extra avocado on the side to dip it in. So we did uh, sausage, bacon, with just the uh, wrap in some avocado, like pre mashed stuff from Aldi's, and then we cooked some fre uh, eggs, rolled it up. And check this out. Mine's done. I'm gonna get this. I'm starving. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sean! Yeah, boy! That's how we do it every monkey style! So the sun looks like it's starting to break through. <laughs> but we're going uh, we're going down into Speedwell Cavern anyway, so that's gonna be awesome. We weren't sure as of yesterday or telling you. We weren't sure whether to do Blue John or Speedwell Cavern because um, a few of us have done Speedwell Cavern for a long time ago. But Freya, Liam's little girl who's with us again, 
she's really excited because I told her it's like fill the war and you go down in a boat so she wants to do that one so we're going to do it with her put it on a vlog show you guys so we're just uh, packing his breakfast stuff away ready to get on the boats on speedwall but first we're going to do a little pick get that cleaned up before we head off so see you guys soon <laughs> Some boxer shorts. I can't believe I can pick them up. Look at that. Listen, if you find any money, that'd be nice. That's our hero guys, urban monkeys, van life for life, leave only footprints, take your shit away with you. Well that's the litter picked on, just from that short, well short, small area of uh, uh, the back of where we was camping, just look, in just a quick five minutes there's a team effort between urban monkey crew and the van life for life, just how much rubbish we've just collected. Which is sickening, really. So that's nearly four full bin liners just laid around in this back here. Now, vans and campers get the blame for all this mess, but anybody leaving crap over there is just out in tenting. So it's maybe day visitors or cars not coming prepared for everything else, and they just leave the gash. So camper vans and van lifers are picking it up. Look at the difference here, just a few of us, quick five minutes, picking it up and then a little bit of countryside that we've enjoyed for the past two nights is a lot more clean. There's some stuff down here, I will take away next time we're down and I'll come back a bit more prepared, but there's some industrial tins of roofing stuff there, I mean, it's a joke mate. Leave any footprints guys. Right, speedwall cabin, let's go! The girls are going for a walk down into Shopping. Castleton to the sweet shop. Me and the lads are taking the rubbish up to Speedle Cavern and then we're going to walk up the top of Winnet's Pass because we're booked in for one o'clock. So, see you in a minute. So, we're having a walk at Speedle Cavern just there and we're having a walk to the top looking down into Winnet's Pass. And Tommy's just seen it, he's like, Are we going up there? <laughs> Yeah, up there, so we can to the top, so we can look down into the Winnets Pass below, where me and James were one wheeling yesterday. So should be good fun. It's a bit of a steep climb, though. <laughs> really good climb. Walking into Castleton, looking for the old sweet shop. The boys have gone hiking again because they enjoyed it yesterday. Um, I'm not sure where they ended up, but I'm sure um, you'll find out on Brent's video. We've got Freya with us and we're going to look for the old fashioned sweet shop and I'm sure we'll call for a pint on the way back. We've just been and booked Speedwood Caverns for 10 people and a pug. Um, so we'll be doing that at 20 past one. <laughs> View. Look at this guys, we're stood right on the edge, looking down into its path. Whew, what a view from here, I tell you. And it is windy. <laughs> hey, lads. Woo. 
That's it guys. Well I woke up, we've seen it. Now heading back down to booked on at Speedwell Cavern at one o'clock. So then after Speedwell Cavern, probably go to the pub for some sleeps and then had a ride over to our pub stopover where we're camping out tonight in Buxton. Yeah. Whew. It's a lot easier coming down though. <laughs> Didn't you see him last night with a flashlight? There's yeah, Speedwell Cavern, just there. Down. So we're gonna meet the girls. Meet the girls down there, they've been to the Castleton sweet shop and stuff. <sighs> awesome. Great to be back on the hillside again. Yeah. Need to get my fitness back now. I'm gonna do some more uh, hiking. Woo! And uh, with Colin from Yorkshire Pop Tops. We've got some hikes planned with the boys. To get me running back on, get me fitness back up, that's for sure. Lads have got, I keep stopping and taking me time, obviously, got this huge <laughs> gimbal rig. <laughs> Lads have got a right pace on down, leaving me, so I will have to sort the, uh, the gimbal out, lock it all off, and get a pace on to catch these up. Hey, what you got? Pardon? Where's the sweet from? Lemon. And I got... What do you Toxic waste weed. Oh. They're sour. Oh. Everything's sour and everything's busy. <laughs> oh my word, God. <laughs> Fred just gave me a sweet. I said, it's not sour, are they? It's because they're not. I can hardly see. <laughs> Toxic waste. Oh my word, man, I'm just streaming. <laughs> <Yeah, Paul. laughs> <laughs> so guys, we've all had a regroup. The girls are back from the sweet shop in Castleton. That's the hill there. We've just had a walk up and we're all sat outside. Speedwalk oven now waiting to go in for our tour. Oh, that's better. The sourness has gone. <laughs> Looking good, Lula. I need it tight in a knot. Are you getting it on for you? Like that. And then tighten it up for back. What's that? Better look well still. Alright, guys, if you all want to start squeezing in, a few things before we go. Behind me is 106, very wet, very slippy stairs. So use a banister on both your sides and take your time going down. Don't try to keep up with me. The roof gets quite low, so watch your head. If you feel yourself slipping, shout my name so I can turn around and film it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say a few more things when we get to the bottom, but are you all good to go? Yep. Yeah. 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 Sweet. Oh. I'm scared. You're not. Have to get trapped in. Well, how you can get trapped in? There's a door. <laughs> Is it me or is it Samuel? <laughs> Not quite. A bit tight down here, guys. <laughs> it is when you're six foot tall. This is ace. How oh, cool this way. Oh, guys, you like, if you come to Castleton, <laughs> definitely come and check Speedwell Cavern out. Or check any of the caverns out, they're all good. This one, especially, with the added Brucey bonus of the boat at the bottom. <laughs> it's a long way down. <laughs> so we've just got down to the bottom. This is where we're getting the boats. How sick is this? You alright, Freya? Yeah. Can we sit for your horse, Freya? Sit for Freya, I'll get a boat. Be someone heavy on the other side. It's nice. Try to move the boat forward a bit. Probably. Whoa, look at that, you can see him down the tunnel here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I told you, James. I told you, James. No, I'm not found by this. Jeez. Dump your head down. I've got a big body, I've got little legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What you read there? <laughs> No, because then you're going to go and make me think of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lily, do you want me to Fuck it. Go on. I'll follow you. I'll never know what it is about this place. Whoa. Check this out, guys. Enjoying your weekend with urban monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> What's been your best bit so far? All of it. All of it? <laughs> Give me five. That boat though were cool, weren't it? Yeah, scary. You, you were laughing at me, you kept banging my head on the wall, didn't you? Yeah. All the way down. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just about to get on the boat back. We just all had a selfie up there, which I'll put up right now. Check this out for a selfie. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> this is way worse coming up. Yeah, Liam's blown a bit. <laughs> 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 Come on, you here now. Oh. Oh. I enjoyed that. Woo. Yeah, we're good, brother. Right. Oh. Gift shop. All of these tore you through. finished at Speedwell Caverns. Uh, we've been in the boats and um, we had Harry the tour guide. It was really good. It was quite funny. Um, there was 10 of us, nine adults and Freya. Um, I had my helmet a bit too tight, so <laughs> a bit tin on my head. Um, we're off to, is it the Greyhound Inn? Greyhound Inn. Uh, in Buxton. Um, we put a post on our Facebook um, monkey page and uh, the pub said, oh, why don't you come for a pub stopover with us? So uh, we've got five vans and a car <laughs> going there. We're just going, we're convoying there now. Um, some beers, hopefully some food and a stopover. Absolute nightmare. So, Luan, we got invited up. This guy commented on our Facebook page, invited us up for a pub stopover. So, Luan rung at Ed yesterday. Can we come over? We've got five vans. Yeah, no problem. Coming tonight. He says, yeah. Um, we're really busy with Sunday lunch. We're going to crack on with normal menu after Sunday lunch. It finishes at three from five till eight. So, drove all the way over here from Castleton. No food. It still says on the sign outside it's serving till six. It is standby. Quarter past four. So technically we could all still eat now. So as of last week apparently, now we've got here, they stopped serving late uh, on a Sunday. Absolute nightmare. We got invited here. Now we've messed up. So now we've invited all these over. Drove all the way for Caston. Nobody's got any food. So the Greyhound at Buxton. Cheers, pal. Welcome back, guys. So 
after that uh, pub stop over disaster we well i've explained earlier they invited us on our facebook page we drove all the way over from castleton to buxton which took 40 minutes to get there to get there they stopped serving food and the pub closes at eight o'clock which is an absolute nightmare so we couldn't find anything else around buxton so to cut a long story short we thought we'd cut his losses get back to where we know drive back to the old road at castleton dump the vans, get back into Caston and find some food. So, the pub we went to the other day for drinks, we got on their website, it said they were serving food till six o'clock. Um, they wasn't, they'd done early. I don't know why it still said six, but anyway. So we've walked around all the pubs in Castleton, got to this last one, finally said they were serving till eight. Happy days, we've got food. Awesome menu. So then from there, we sat down in the pub we all got us tables then we've realized that all the tables was reserved absolute nightmare so we can't sit there then a brucey bonus the barman said we've got a, um, a barn outside bar out the back you can all well all the welcome to use that there's nobody in there mate what a resort We've got the eaters on. It's a full on bar to herself, like an outdoor bar. Yeah, boy! So everybody got their arse in the hands because it was just like, oh, we spent an hour and a half trolling around, all sort of starving. Didn't know what else to do, but check this out. So when we've been all around Castleton, can't find any way to sit, everybody's reserved, nobody's serving food. We come to this boozer. Awesome. It's gave us exclusive access for every monkeys in here. We've got the eaters on. Toasty. The lads are just helping themselves to the sound system. We're trying to get some sounds on. <laughs> How cool is this, guys? Unbelievable. So, everybody's chilled. We're going, they've all, the girls have gone to order some food and get some more drinks. I'm going to hit to the toilet. <laughs> Pierce is trying to get tunes on. So, we're happy again. So all the food orders are in, guys. We're sat in his own little private shed. Now, earlier on this afternoon, Tommy found a 10 pound. And he says, what shall I do with it? Shall I give it to charity or something? Because he tried to give it to her and nobody claimed it. So I said, best thing you can do, go buy 10 scratch cards. And if we all come in, we'll sort everybody out and we'll go on a massive Europe road trip next year. So. Oh, we've won a quiz. Yay! We've won a pan. Yeah, I've got the last ticket here. This is going to be the winning one. I can sense it. When everybody else has scratched him, I'm going to scratch this last one. <laughs> How cool would it be, though, to drop a big one and treat everybody here? Matching crafters, all fully set up. Massive Europe road trip. <laughs> Save the last one. I'm going to give it Tilly to scratch. <laughs> oh. Well, we're going to have to buy two more with that two quid. We're sat in his own personal shed. Everybody's fed, everybody's happy again. And uh, Luan and... We're happy anyway. Luan and Tommy stick a bomb in the shed. Morning, morning, guys. We've just got up. Just had a couple of coffees by the van. A few of the guys have already gone because they want to get back early. And so we're still. At the side of the road. It's been an absolutely awesome weekend. Definitely recommend stopping on this old road and having a couple of walks and seeing the caverns around Castleton. Don't forget guys, if you want to stop anywhere, see the comments below and uh, I'll put some drop pins to where we've stayed, the Speedwell Cavern and the different walks and man tour and stuff so you, you guys can follow everything where we've been. So that's it for this episode guys. Don't forget, if you like our videos, click the link Hit subscribe, leave a comment in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, boy!